y'all good evening so we're just coming back and of course you know our flight was four o'clock we got here five o'clock and this is almost um seven o'clock you know hey guys what's up y'all so it's a beautiful mama b all right so i want you guys to go check out uh boss baby dot talk channel she was among my just concluded master class and yeah i need you guys to give us some love some support let's let's actually go there please go there and tell her that editorial of editorial and emmy's family sent to you guys to smash her channel with some love you know she is a nigerian youtuber based in canada she does vlog lifestyle travel cooking and you guys she is so lively and you guys are definitely definitely going to be loving her so please show her some love let me put a little of our clip here so you guys can see our face and the link to our channel will be at the description box hey guys how are you guys doing my name is karima of bossbaby.talk i'm a nigerian based in canada and what i do on my channel i do lifestyle i promote businesses i showcase food and culture and i also do travel vlog mom of four beautiful kids three girls one boy and i'm inviting you editorial and emmy's family to please come join my family come show me love on my channel i will really love and appreciate you guys i'll be waiting for you and when you come i'll be welcoming you with juice and popcorn and again you will also be seen on my channel upon your request canada schooling job opportunity and housing i will be waiting for you thank you so you're welcome back to my channel and you're welcome back to my family okay so i'm back to abuja and i want to unbox the things that i brought from my village okay you know i, I took you guys to my village of course and then i gave you a tour you know of my grandmother's grandmother's house okay and then my uncles gave me this and I want to show you guys the things that they gave to me. Yeah, they were so nice to me. And of course, I just want to show you guys. I think few things here my mom gave me, but the other ones were from my village, okay? So, I want to show you guys before I could unpack this bag because I cannot keep it because if I keep it, some of the things there might spoil. So that's why I'm like, let me rush and actually show you guys the things I brought from the village. Okay. So in this bag, we, we actually did not travel with this bag. My husband bought the bag in New York. And we have this other bag here. And this other one, this bag was put in here by my mom. She gave me this. So this is, well, this is our fan. She gave us our fan. And trust me, hey, <laughs> the people that, the, all in, all this, my in-laws and my brothers, they like our fan. What have people been eating since I left? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got grace. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in here there's it's another leaf. You know the thing is that in my place we have so many leaves. In fact, I didn't even take half of it. Okay, I just took just one particular leaf, and I just asked them to give me one particular leaf, which is which is this. And of course, you saw when. They cut it for me, so I'll show you how it is because um, we dried it. She actually dried it a little so that it didn't actually go bad. Of course, just one hour in the plane will not make it go bad. So this is a tamale leaf. It's still fresh. It needs to needs to, we need to dry it. Like I need to dry it. I need to dry it. Get off my camera. Okay, so in this bag, I got this again. I got this. Baby, who gave us this? Bala. 
Yeah. 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 So I think Mommy. my mom gave us this because I'm sure those people Mommy. do not give us popo. Mommy. Those my uncles do not Mommy. give us popo. Yes, sweet. It's daddy. Yes, it's daddy. I know. I know. And then they gave us plantain. We're going to be doing porridge plantain. Like mm. unripe porridge plantain. Very soon. Like maybe tomorrow. Mommy. And they gave us enough daddy. of the plantain. I think two bunches of plantain. That's what they gave to us. You know, back then, when my, when my grandma used to be alive, when you go to the village like that, and then when you're coming back to wherever, you're going, wherever your base is, my grandma would prepare everything for you, plantain, a fang, a tama, a litan, like, chips. All plenty leaves, oil, and dry fish, dry cream fish. In fact, is there anything like that? Anything like food stuff, my grandmother would put it for you. For me. <laughs> so I had I had a whole lot of plantain, yeah. This plantain should be two or three bunches, I don't know. And plus my mom will soon be coming. So we need to have enough food. <laughs> Yay! Let me check if there's one. There is none. So these are basically the things I brought from my villages. This and my mom gave me this and this. Okay, and that's just it. I just wanted to show you guys in case you did not watch the video where even when I went to the village, I didn't actually video this part, you know, because as I, when they gave us this, we had gone to the beach side. You know, to greet some other people and all of that stuff. Like, like, waka waka, finish me for that with you. Like, I was tired carrying this beautiful baby and my husband carrying, you know, Beverly. Huh. We almost cry, but we don't cry. But yeah, it was fun. Thank you so much for watching. Love you and see you again. Hey guys, good evening. So guys, how are you guys doing? Okay guys, good evening. How are you guys doing? Baby, say hey guys. Hi guys. Daddy Beverly. Hi Beverly. What's up guys? <laughs> and Bernice is here too. Bernice is not left out. Okay guys, so we're actually having um, an evening suya eating. I take this one. I take this one. No, this is the one I gave you. This is this one. I didn't put pepper in this one. Okay. Venice wants to eat chicken. Venice mm. too wants to eat chicken. You can see that. Venice wants to eat anything we want we eat. Venice wants to grab it and put it inside her mouth. I'm sorry. Thank you, Daddy. Nothing is wrong with you now. Okay. It's not us. When you're wrong, don't feel good. Um, she just, probably just ate. So this is chicken soya. <coughs> and that's just what we actually felt like eating. Although we made um plantain porridge on red plantain. The plantain we bought from from <coughs> Are you interested? Come on, join us. Let me say, come and join us. Join us. Good. Good girl. She's so generous. Oh, 
why you don't use like uh, some people? I will buy suya for their for their partner, and I will be eating onion. What's that? Baby, she's sitting on your uh, what is it called? Onion, cabbage, and cucumber. Mm. Okay. Guys, when we're in the village, when we're in New York, in my mother's house. Immediately we arrived with you. <laughs> we were so freaking hungry. Like when we wake up, when we wake up, liver, liver, liver. The very first thing that comes into mind is food. Hunger. <laughs> For four a.m. Why was that feeling? Hungry? I'm telling you. Well, we come back since yesterday. We did it only once. Only once. And we are okay. Oh, that is going to finish all the all the cucumber and, and onion. She's not eating chicken, or she's eating cucumber and onion. Mm. Guys, there's a spoon. Mommy, I have eating onion. Yes, you're eating onion and cucumber. There's this feeling, yeah. There's this hunger Mommy. that comes Mommy. with traveling, Mommy. like uh, in a top top. Yes. Oh, you're so intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> I kept this tripod stand on, on my laptop. That's what she's telling me. See my laptop. There's this. There's this hunger. Hunger for food that comes with traveling especially when you when you like leave your home and then you go down to the village or you go down to another state like maybe you're going there to relax or sorry baby. sorry like you've been feeling very very hungry that was what was happening to us. Who is that? Especially when your your mind has actually told you that maybe you're going for all the day. Mommy. You know? Mommy. Yeah? Go. Hmm? As we were by, we were feeling so hungry. We were, we were like eating all of the time. Apple, apple. Yes. Baby keeps distracting me. So since we are constantly hungry, we are constantly eating. And plus, my mom had already prepared some soups inside the freezer. You know, so it was just, and she made apple fufu. Let me open the door for Beth. Everybody's going out. Let me open the door for her. Was was eating. That was the only fun we had. But outside that, there was a lot of stress because of the wedding, you know, preparations and all. All right, guys. So after the delicious chicken suya, here comes fresh squeezed juice. 
uh, fresh orange juice. And Beverly wants to collect my shine. She has already collected my shine. You guys, you guys come and want this girl. I was gonna squeeze this juice for me. And uh, Beverly is collecting my shine. She's actually drinking the juice first. She's she's this girl won't download my juice finish. <laughs> <laughs> As if she was waiting for it. As if she was waiting for the juice to come. <laughs> I don't finish. <laughs> you said, uh, <laughs> simple mouth. You guys, come and help me. <laughs> I drink. I you are telling her I drink. I will spill that another one. I have drink. No problem. No problem. <laughs> when is smiling here? I think. <laughs> Take now, I don't. Funny, funny. Mm -hmm. Don't put your hand inside. Because she doesn't want to drink again. See, my juice has gone off. <laughs> Beverly, look at my juice. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I'm a titty. Yeah. Mm. No, so take your juice. Yeah? So take your juice here. <laughs> After you finish the juice, you're telling me, Mommy, take your juice here. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, take your juice here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Let me excuse her. Thank you, babe. God bless you. Bless you too. Look at Venice. Venice, Venice, baby. You guys, are you guys seeing what is happening to my camera? That mommy, black line. Mommy. Since we went to mommy. Uyo, my camera mommy. fell. Mommy. Yeah, I'm coming. Stop distracting me. Mommy. Yes. Don't touch it. Okay. Okay. So since we went to Jo Uyo, my camera fell down and this is what I've noticed. God made this camera no no spoil. That's what I noticed. You see that black thing that's been like this. But if I cut if I cut this particular video and start all over again to not do like that. Let me show you. Okay, so you see. Although it's still doing, but not as much as it was before. Kind of feel it does that in the night. I don't know. But this camera, no spoiler, because I never use use you. I never enjoy you finish. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, my beautiful people? Yeah, welcome back to Editorial and uh, Iming channel. In today's video, I'm going to be preparing plantain that we brought from a fiber. We call it, I myself, I call it plantain jollof and this is how I usually prepare my own plantain jollof these are my ingredients that I'm going to be using to prepare this delicious plantain jollof so I'm going to carry, to carry you guys along as I proceed show them this is the plantain this is the onion pepper pepper fish my seasoning, vegetable carrots and uh, green beans, my tomato, my meat, and ugu vegetable. So, all these are going to be pulled. I'm going to be cooking all this in one pot, you know? So, I'm going to show you. If you like it, I'll send you all through email. What up? Love you guys. This is my water. This water, I think this quantity will be enough. And my crayfish goes in. My tomato goes into the water as well. I don't want to blend this pepper into powder, into powder uh, form. 
And this is my onion. As you can see, this meat, I have to be cutting it into piece because I just boil it. It's a kilo of red meat. I just bought it and I decided not to cut it. I'm going to cut them into piece. While this uh, vegetable, I will wait until when the food, when the plantain is almost ready, as in 100% done or 99% done. That is what I'm going to put in this carrot and uh, the ugu vegetable. So let's go there. <laughs> 